Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been a little while since I posted, but uh, things are looking a little bit different now. Um, I have put in place some static grass. Let me just quickly give you a, a quick uh, overview of the the whole scene. Uh, so I've used uh, mostly two millimeter static grass mixed in with a little bit of uh, four mil. And uh, it's really, really easy to do. The only observation is it takes about 10 seconds to apply and then about 10 minutes to uh, clean up. And obviously you try to reclaim as much as possible to be able to use again. Uh, it looks really nice. It's obviously over scale. Uh, I guess uh, experiences would be, I would probably buy some one mil static grass uh, and then just use a little bit of two um, next time. But uh, it looks nice. I'm quite pleased with the effect. Um, I've obviously just used one color at the moment. So I'm gonna go over this with some foliage and. Uh, bushes and things like that so that'll sort of bring out the uh, bit more depth because at the moment it's all very uniform in one color I've also been uh, putting in place some extra bits around the good shed here so I spent quite a lot of time building up the um, boundary wall uh, which is obviously a mix of uh, cardboard scale scenes brick textures together with some of the uh, the cheap uh, plastic fencing that I bought to make a more um, pleasant looking wall and I haven't finished off the capping stones yet on top of the uh, sections in between the wall there. And uh, obviously I've got a little bit of tidying up to do. But yeah, overall, I think that's looking quite nice really over here. There'll be a bit more detail added as well. And I used the Freescale Scenes uh, office uh, kit there just to add another building there to the layout. I painted the, the ground, just spray, spray airbrushed that with... Um, with a grey colour. Um, could have done with making it a little bit darker to be honest but it's not too bad and if I go over to the other side uh, you can see that I've um, sort of created the the hill up to over the bridge area um, using the same colour. I'm not entirely happy about this joint here but probably not a lot I can really do about that. The uh, bridge area here I've only detailed the right hand side because there will be a scenic break over halfway to the bridge. So that's uh, looking good. And then if I just give you a shot inside there, you can see that I have uh, finished over here. The other thing I've been doing is uh, just starting to build up the supporting structure for the platform. So that's just using a mix of off-cut uh, cardboard to fill in to the right height so that when I do eventually place the platform on, that's going to rest on there. Uh, I've got a feeling this is going to be really, really tricky to do. Never done a platform before. I've got the, the worst bit to come, which is shaping the top, putting it in place and making it look as good as possible. Another scene looking back down towards the good shed area there. So you can see how that's uh, looking. So yeah, quite a piece of static grass. I definitely would do that again, but I would definitely use, I think, lower, lower size static grass for end gauge because it's definitely overscaled, obviously. Even two mil static grass is equivalent to being several feet high. So obviously not really uh, realistic at all. But yeah, that's where I am so far. I'm going to carry on trying to get the platform uh, constructed next and finish off some of the detailing area around the good shed around here. And I'll check in with you next time to show you how it's looking. So thanks for staying tuned and see you next time. Bye for now.